Okay, so here are our ingredients that we're going to need. Um, we're going to need flour, brown sugar, salt, butter, eggs, condensed milk, vanilla extract, and sweetened shredded coconut. All right, here we go. Let's get Hey, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Blessed in the Country. I'm Diane, and I'm so glad you were here. I'm so glad you stopped by maybe for the first time or you're returning. Today, we got... A really great recipe that we want you to try out especially around the holidays time since that's coming up uh, but first of all I want to thank everyone that prayed for my husband when he had his surgery um, it turned out great the doctor said he did wonderful so we're just so thankful and blessed you know when you hear the doctor say that you know you could uh, die at any time you know, there's nothing left for you to do but to totally put your trust in God and just trust that Jesus is going to make everything okay and bring you through. And he did, and I give him the honor and the glory for it all. So we're going to be making coconut bars today. Really quick, easy recipe that you're going to love. Uh, like I say, the holidays are approaching us really fast. And so this is something that you can have for Thanksgiving and definitely for Christmas. So, hey, let us go and get right through it. Again, welcome all of my new subscribers. I see you. Thank you so much. God bless you. All right, here we go. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is a two-step um, coconut bar recipe. So the first step we're going to be doing is we're going to be making the crust. This recipe is all over the internet. It's a really old recipe. Um, this is two cups of all-purpose flour, and I just added um, a half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm just kind of like mixing it together. Um, and then we're just going to put it in this bowl. Everything's going to go in our bowl. All right. Everything is just a dump, and we're going to mix this all together. And we're going to be using our hands, and we're going to press it into a 9 by 13 pan. Now, this is one cup of packed brown sugar. This is the dark brown sugar that I have, but if you want to use the light, that's perfectly fine. Um, I made this recipe, and it is, it's out of this world. It's just wonderful. My husband keeps telling me I need to put uh, raisins in it. For some reason, I just, I don't know. I can't tell you why he's... He wants the raisins in it, but I don't know, maybe for Christmas, but uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and go with just the regular plain but delicious coconut bars. All right, so we've got that all mixed in together, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our butter. Now, this is one cup or two sticks of butter, and I'm using unsalted butter because I did put in, you know, the half teaspoon of salt, so I'm going to put in some um, unsalted butter, but hey, if you want to use the salted, you go ahead and do it. And now we're going to stir it up. This is all it is for the crust. Um, just all-purpose flour, brown sugar, salt, and butter. Okay, and it's going to come together nicely. And then we're going to press this into the bottom of a lined with parchment paper 9, 13 by 9 pan, okay? So just work it, work it, work it all in there together till you get it incorporated. So you want to make sure you're mixing it very, very well. Look at that. It smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Oh, you know, I always tell you all, I wish you could smell it. I wish you could smell it. But this is just a great little treat. Um, they cut up so beautiful and present so so nicely so you're gonna love this this is a great little dish to take if you're having some kind of um function at work and you need to take um something oh this is so good i guarantee your co-workers will love it so be sure and check out this recipe remember that you can find the ingredients the list of ingredients at the bottom in the description under this video you can find the ingredients and then just refer back to my video for the steps, okay? All right, so that's looking pretty good right there, all right? Everything is looking nice and mixed to me. 
And we got it all mixed in there together. And just to be sure, of course, I'm going to use my spatula because you know, sometimes you think you got something in there and you don't because you didn't get it all mixed in there. All right. So next, what we're going to do is set this to the side for a minute. And my pan, and you know my little tip is to put a little bit of water in your pan. So it kind of helps the um, parchment paper kind of lay in there. And what you want is you want it to be able to make sure you get your corners nice and flat. But you want it to have sides because after it cooks, you're going to pull this out after it's cooled, okay? You're going to pull, pull it out after it's cooled. And now, you don't have to, but I normally do uh, because I, someone had did it in one of the recipes. Like I said, there's so many recipes. Just spray the sides of it. All right. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to Take and put our mixture down into our bowl, our uh, 9 by 13 pan. And then with our fingers, ooh, got some crumbs there, is we're going to just press, press, press. And we're going to get it as even as possible. Let me tell you, do not worry about your fingerprints being in there. Because, and with clean paint, hands, um... With your fingerprints being there, because when it cooks, we're going to let this bake. And when it cooks, it's going to, um, all of these fingerprints are going to disappear. So you don't have to be concerned about that, okay? So we're going to press, press, press. And it takes a minute to press it in there. So just take your time and just know that the process is going to be so worth it. I promise you. Yeah, you might be thinking, yeah, that don't look too good, but you wait till it comes out. You're going to see the process is going to be well, well worth it. Okay? So it takes a minute to do this. So don't get in a rush. Like I say, the holidays are coming, and this is a rich, I mean, it's a really, really rich uh, treat. So it's not something that you are going to be making to have um every other week or something like that because because it's very rich and it's buttery these are buttery uh just decadent turn it around just decadent coconut bars and you're gonna see how pretty they are when they come out the oven okay so now i'm just making sure that to me it feels uh, just about even all the way around. And then I'm going to just sort of smush my sides down with my fingers. Okay. There we go. Till we get it nice. Nicely in there. Okay. That looks good. Alright. So I'm going to wash my hands. So we can pop it into our oven. It's been preheated and um, I did, did hear the buzzer go off. I have it preheating at 350 degrees. Okay. I just messed that one up with my fingers. All right. So it did take that long, but um, there it is. Like I said, don't worry about trying to get your fingerprints out because it's going to um, smooth out all on its own. What you're worrying about is you want to try to get it as even as possible. All right, so let me wash my hands. I'm going to come back, and uh, we're going to pop this in the oven. All right, I've washed my hands, and I'm going to pop this in the oven. I preheated a uh, 350-degree oven for 15 minutes. Um, so I'm going to pop it in. I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. And as you can see, i got these ingredients still set. Now, that's because they're going to go into our filling part also so wash up and clean up the dishes that you got and when we come back after 15 minutes we're going to put the filling together after this is rested for 10 minutes when it comes out the oven so we're cooking it for 15 minutes then we're going to let it rest for 10 while we're putting together the filling 
Okay, so here it is, fresh out the oven. Look at it, how nice and smooth it is. Fingerprints are gone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wish you could smell it. I wish you could smell it. So we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes. And meanwhile, we're going to mix together the filling, okay? Alrighty, so our crust is cooling. And usually when I do this, I just... Uh, do the filling in the same bowl. I don't wash it, but because I'm making this video for you, I washed my bowl. So you just use the same bowl that you did the crust in, and we're going to kind of mix up these eggs a little bit. Put them in there. So that's three eggs that's going in there. And you're just going to go ahead and, and add the ingredients the way I got them listed. Just one right after the other. You're going to list. Now, I do want to let you know that when you take your crust out of the oven, you need to lower your temperature down to 350. I cooked this crust um, on the bottom rack at 350, but when you take it out after your 15 minutes, lower the temperature down to 325, okay? But you're still going to cook it on the bottom rack if your oven allows you. Your oven may not let you do it. You do what your oven allows you to do, okay? And next, we're going to add in, um, I have a wash top. I already washed it out. We're going to add in our sweetened condensed milk. And I only got this name brand because it was on sale. It was actually cheaper than the store brand when I went to the store. So, yeah, I kind of stocked up. So, it was on sale. And I got this because the holidays are coming up. And I know I will be using sweetened condensed milk. So, Yay, that worked out really, really well. All right, so we want to use our spatula and get all of that into that bowl. And we're just going to put our ingredients in one after the other, stirring as we add each ingredient. Okay, very good. So we got all of that in there. All right, go back to our little whisk. And we're just going to whisk that in there with the egg while my um, crust was baking in the oven for 15 minutes. I clean my dishes or I actually load them in the dishwasher and uh, you know how I feel about dishes. And um, I measured out my ingredients for my filling. So it's two steps. It's the crust and then it's the filling. Um, So with this, you have the coconut. We're going to put that with that in last. But you have your coconut, and the bag that uh, I used was the, let me get that for you so I can tell you right. It was the 14-ounce uh, bag of coconut, and make sure you get the sweetened coconut, okay? So the coconut flakes... And it's the 14 ounce, and you you won't quite need uh, all the whole bag because the recipe calls for four cups, and I just usually use the whole bag. You will have a little bit left over, not a whole lot left over, but uh, you divide the coconut in half. We'll talk about that in a second. But next, we have our flour that's going into our filling. So we put flour in the crust, and we put flour into the filling, okay? Remember, the recipe is going to be in the description, and then we have salt. Uh, we're not going to use, I didn't use the, all of the salt that it calls for. It calls for another half a teaspoon. I used um, a little bit less than half. Um, usually when I make it, it comes out fine. Um, I also want to say, and we're going to put that on in there. I also want to say that, um, you know, I'm good. I'm always telling you that I like to do grams and measure stuff out. This recipe, you don't have to worry about anything rising, so you know what? It really don't even matter. You know, if you got a little bit too much or a little bit too less, it's going to come out perfect and be fine anyway, okay? So then we got brown sugar. Um, just like we put brown sugar in there, we got brown sugar that goes um, into the uh, filling, and it costs for a fourth of a cup, okay? So we got that, and we're going to put that in there. Look at that, how that's looking. Yum, yum, yum. All right, stir it up real nice and pretty. And get that in there. 
And then we got our vanilla flavoring. And this is um, three teaspoons of vanilla flavoring that we're going to be putting in. So we're going to get that in now. Stir that in next. And um, just remember not to use like margarine, use real butter. Um, I'm sure you saw the butter I used, but again, I used that because it's name brand, uh, because it was on sale. And so I went ahead and got it, and I'm using that. Okay. Okay, so now what you can do, what I normally do is, is I take that 14 ounce bag and I just measure me out a cup of uh, coconut because this is going to go on the top. I'll show you in a minute. But this is a roughly about three cups. And then we're just going to dump all of that coconut over into the filling part, okay? I was hoping that this was would fit. I usually do it in my metal bowl, but I wanted to do it in this, this bowl so you could see it from the inside out. Look at that color. Mm. You talk about something good. Now, let me tell you, if you don't have a rack to cool your um, crust on, don't worry about it. Just get you something to set that pan up on just to raise it up off the table a little bit um, so some air can flow under that pan and cool it. It's not going to be completely cool uh, when after 10 minutes, but we want it to cool a little bit. But um, like I told you before, you didn't have to worry about those, those fingerprints being in there. They, they all smoothed out. And even with this too, whoo, we do need some smell of vision. I'll tell you something, if I could invent that, oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> all right, so look at that, and I want you to see how that's looking. Look at all that wonderful coconut and the color that you got going on there. Oh, it's really good. There is my buzzer going off for my 10 minute um, cooling time for my crust, and this is ready. And I'm going to set it here so we can, I can show you how I pour it on that and how we top it off with the rest of the coconut. Okay. So I've got my pan here. And I'm just going to take my mixture and I just usually pour it in the center all the way down through the pan. And then we're going to spread it out nice and evenly, okay? So we want to get all of that out and get that in there. And this is just a buttery... Just great tasting. When it's cooking, you can smell the butter. And oh my goodness, it's so good. Um, I usually, when I finish um, letting it cook, I'm going to let it cook for 30 minutes on 325. Remember, we've lowered that temperature down. So I'm gonna, we're going to let it cook for 30 minutes, 325. And I keep mine on the bottom rack. You do what you need to do. And it comes out just wonderful. Get rid of that bowl. And then we're just going to take and spread. Okay? Just spread it out nice and evenly. Spread it out. Okay, all the way to the edge. Make sure you go all the way to the edge with it. Mmm, mmm. That is looking so good. We want to get all of that in there. And again, you don't have to worry about um, something rising because we're not doing doing the rising part. This is just, we're making a bar, a coconut bar. And so with our one cup of coconut, we're going to take that and we're going to just sprinkle that on top. And this is going to toast to, not sure about your stove or if you know your stove runs hot, you need to go ahead on and keep a check on it so that it um, doesn't get too brown and toasted and you have... Um, have it too, too brown. So if I was you and I wasn't sure about the 30 minutes, just go ahead and set your timer to 25, check it, and then just keep a close watch on it after that. So here it is. Let me see if I can lift it up because the pan is still a little warm, but that's okay. Get it down here so you can see it. And that looks beautiful, but you wait till it comes out. So now I'm going to stick it in my 325 degree oven for 30 minutes. Set your timer. Check it after 25 minutes, okay? All right, we'll be back. Okay, so I've taken it out of the oven, and that's what it looks like. I let it bake for 30 minutes, and now I've let it cool also for about 40 minutes, and now we're going to cut into it. 
Alright, so I'm going to lift this, and this is the reason why we put it on parchment paper, so that you can lift it out. So I'm going to lift it out and set it on, um, I just got it setting on my cutting board because I'm going to cut it. And so now we're going to cut it, and oh my goodness, it smells so good, I wish you could smell it. But I'm going to use a pizza cutter, you can use a knife, but a pizza cutter does great. And we're just going to cut it into nice little squares, okay? You can cut them as big as you want or as small as you uh, like. Whatever you decide you want to do and however you're going to use them. Of course, you can cut them small if you need them to go further. Or you can cut them larger if you're going to be at home and it's just going to be just a, a couple of you, um, your family members. Just whatever you know, the occasion calls for is what you would do. But in this case, we're going to be cutting them into nice squares. I'm going to see what that looks like. And then we're going to kind of plate them up. So we cooked them for a full 30 minutes. And oh my goodness, they smell so good. And then we're going to plate them up, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And if you needed to have these arranged on your platter, if you are um, entertaining, oh, they cut so beautiful. Let me get a close-up shot, and you can see the golden edge um, of the coconut. And there's the bottom. It's nice and buttery there. So that's going to be great. Go ahead and try these. You're going to love them. You need to take them to work. Your co-workers are going to love them as well. I'm just plating them up here so you can see how beautiful they look. All plated up and nice. And they're going to be so nice and just tender. And oh, I wish you could smell how good they're smelling in here. Oh, it's so wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. Always remember to refer back to the description box for the recipe and refer back to my uh, video for the steps. All right. Got that all nice and plated up. Give it a little whirl there so you can see it. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Let me do a close up so you can see what it looks like. Look at the yumminess. All right, so once again, I want to thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Diane, and my channel is called Blessed in the Country. We made the coconut bars. They're delicious, great for the holidays, or anytime you need to take something uh, to work, for your co-workers to, to enjoy. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification button. And I'll see you next time. God bless you, and take care.